There are lots of different hosting possibilities, setups and companies. They're all very similar and I want to do this course using Bluehost. I've not used them before, this, is, this isn't an endorsement, this is just to take you through the process. Okay, let's have a look. Let's click get started now. Select your plan. Let's choose the starter plan at $3.95 per month. Let's choose a domain name. Let's try myexamplesite.com. Okay, then fill in your details. And then scroll down to package information. Okay, I'm just going to go for the cheapest option, which is this 36 month, $3.95 per month. I'm not going to take any of the extras. That's up to you. And then pay. So I put my credit card details in and was taken to another page of add-ons. I chose not to take any of those and then I got to this page and click create your password type in a password so the password's been created so type it in again submit so let's have a look round so in whatever hosting package you're using, that you should um, there should be obvious links to helpful resources if you get stuck at any point. So uh, let's have a look at the home button. Okay, so this is where we can manage all our stuff. There we go, another pop-up uh, window with helpful information, and you should get that sort of thing on any host you're using. So cPanel, cPanel is a really common way of managing websites, so this is where we want to go. And once we're in cPanel, we want to find the file manager, because we want to upload our copy of ModX next. There's a file manager, so let's click that. So it's asking us where we want to go first and the web route is fine because that's where we're going to put our files. So here are all the default files in our in the root of our web server. So let's try and upload the version of ModX that we downloaded in the previous lesson. So choose upload choose file and go to the folder where your copy of ModX lived choose that open so there's a little dialog pop up here so it might take it's quite a big file so it may take a while to upload okay it says it's uploaded so we click back to the tab of the cPanel and it's not there so we need to click reload and there it is at the bottom mod X 2.31 first of all let's tidy up a bit let's get rid of all these default files and folders so if we highlight those and click delete delete files so then we just left with our zip file our mod X zip file now let's extract Let's unzip that by clicking the extract button, highlight it and extract it and leave this setting as the default. We want it in the public HTML directory because that is the directory where the files that get served as a website appear. So it's unpacked, nice and quick. So we don't actually want it in, we don't want all the files in the folder. So if we click that and then highlight all those and then drag them to the HTML folder on the left 
hopefully that will move them so if we click on those so that's moved all the files out of the mod x folder so we can delete that now delete that and we can delete the zip file delete so we're just left with all the files we need to set up our modex content management system and our website so if we now go to myexamplesite.com let's find out what we see so that's good that's what we want to see because it's nothing's configured yet next type setup so this is where we start installing modex properly but there's one step we need to do before that and that is to set up the database so we'll cover that in the next lesson